Welcome everybody, this is Hamwolf, bringing you another Gwent cast. Thank you, user Boundless, for submitting this game. If you have a game that you'd like to submit and see casted on this channel, you can send a link to hamwolfgwent at gmail.com. I'm really, really excited to see dwarves here. Dwarves were kind of nerfed in the last patch with the resilience change. Um, but dwarves work a little bit differently now. We have a brand new card called Mark and Marauder, and whenever the card is modified in any way, so whether it's strengthened, weakened, damaged, boosted, etc., it'll be boosted by two. So while some decks are trying to slam 15, 20 point bronzes, we'll be going ahead and just dropping a seven or eight power bronze and using synergies to create high tempos. So to reveal Zoltan, every time those cards are used on a Mark and Marauder, we'll be getting an extra two strength out of that. Skelga player responds wet. with Markham Marauder via Summoning Circle, and that actually works out for the Skelga deck, because the Skelga deck is using um, Clan Uncrate Greatsword, who, when he's dealt wet. damage, if his timer has run out, he'll be reset and boosted by two. So the combo, as you'll see here, is Light Longship. Light Longship deals one damage to the unit to the right. So that'll make sure that every time the Greatsword's counter runs out, it's boosted by two. Um, Mark and Marauder is essentially another Greatsword for the Skeleton Day. We'll see uh, our Dwarf lock their Light Longship. If we can continue to break up the Skelligus energy, we'll go ahead and, and see a very uh, good turnout for the Dwarf player. Dwarves are luckily very good at moving things. We have um, Dwarf and Mercenary, which moves a unit, and we have Zoltan, which moves unit. So hopefully we'll be able to break up the Greatsword and Light Longship synergy. Operator on Priestess is a little bit sketchy in my opinion. Priestess is really good in pretty much any deck that you put it in across all factions. So I'm not sure that that's what I would have copied, but on the other hand, again, Dwarves is only playing 7 or 8 power guys, whereas the Skellige deck can resurrect, you know, sometimes as high as 15, 20 power guys off of Priestess. But we'll see if that pays off for the Skellige player. Um, one big thing we'll see here is that the Dwarf player has used up all of his Markham Rotters, and Priestess essentially gave him a, a fourth copy. And we'll see if that comes back to bite the Skellige player. I'm interested to see what the Dwarf player wants to mulligan here. Pyrotechnician's not very good against a deck that wants to damage itself. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with mulliganing Dwarven Mercenary, because again, as long as we're breaking up that Light Longship and Greatsword combo... There's not really a lot that the Skellige deck can do about it. Uh, I understand that there's two things in the Dwarf player's hand. We have one Mercenary and one Zoltan. But I really just don't like Pyrotechnician in this matchup, and I would have loved to blacklist it. So we'll see Priestess go ahead and, like I said, resurrect that Markham Marauder. And the Skellige player is being punished for that Operator right now. I am sure that we'll go ahead and see... Boundless break up this great sword again. And with Zoltan. So Zoltan goes in the front. He won't be able to pull Markham Marauder, but he will be able to break up the longship synergy, which is really the idea behind playing Zoltan. It wasn't to deal damage to the opposing units or boost our own units. It was really just solely to break up that synergy. I'm interested to see what the Skellige player plays. But she brooks no insult. Okay, interesting. Another Priestess. That's all three Priestess. They have one more copy from the Operator, but... Dwarven Mercenary will come down and just break that up again. Dwarfs are not having any of that today. Uh, Skellige player probably has to pass here. Being eight points behind, I don't think that there's a play... That can be made. Uh, Sigdrifa is 21 points, potentially. But I don't think that 21 points is even enough to force the Dwarf player out. Because if Sigdrifa 
Yeah, I, okay, we'll see a pass. If Sigrifa pulled Jenga Fett, we would have been able to see a 21 point game, but the Dwarf player would have likely been able to come immediately back from that. We'll see Pyrotechnician go away. You do not want to see those again against a deck that wants to damage itself. We'll see if not mulliganing that Pyrotechnician punishes Boundless here. We'll likely see Isengrim and Tamorin. But again, Morin very dangerous in a deck that wants to deal damage to itself. If we see a uh, Great Sword. Great Sword will go down to two power. Luckily, we have a Pyrotechnician to finish it off. But if we didn't, we would have been in, in a lot of trouble. So that Pyrotechnician paying off for Boundless. Houser's Double Cross finding another Great Sword. The Skellica player desperately crawling to get his synergies online. But at every corner, is broken up by the Dwarf player. Now, this time, the Dwarf player doesn't have a way to move a Light Longship. So if we have Light Longship Martin coming down, maybe efficient. it'll be enough. But she brooks no insult. And we'll see Priestess come down and create a ship. Agitator pulls a Dwarven Mercenary out of our deck. Very fortunate. Uh, Agitator is a brand new card that creates a copy of a Bronze Dwarf in your deck. So very fortunate that we we managed to pull the Mercenary to break up that Light Longship combo again. That's still not going to be enough. We're going to go ahead and respond immediately with a full moon potion. And recover all that power that was lost to Eskel. Let's see if the Skelga player has enough strength to come back from this. So many points behind. Gigni only taking out 9. Only worth 14 points total. We're going to go ahead and see 11 points out of our bronze. So we really are responding almost tit for tat here. So what's our plan? And Lambert... Doesn't look like it's going to be enough here. Lambert still is the Skellige player behind with a card left in Ballas's hand. Very, very fun game to watch. Two brand new decks that came about from the Gold Immunity patch. Dwarves, of course, being an old deck, but used in a brand new manner. And the Skellige deck, which is super interesting. Uh, very, very fun game. Thank you, Boundless, again for submitting that video for us. If you liked that video, please subscribe. If you would like to see more videos in the future from me, please subscribe. But I will need your help. So if you can record a game and you want to see a cast on this channel, I am severely lacking content right now. I am struggling a lot. So if you have friends that you know might want to submit a video, I'll take videos from across all MMRs. Actually, I would really, really like some low MMR games. So if you have... Um, a friend or you yourself are low MMR, please go ahead and submit a video. I would like to use it as a teaching tool. I myself am currently 4K. I reached 4,300 on two accounts last season uh, after only playing for a month. So I would really, really like to cast some low MMR games to just kind of break up the monotony a little bit and have something more educational to talk about. So if you would like to submit a video, please submit a link to the video to hamwolfwent at gmail.com. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. This is Hamwolf signing off.